finally, the, uh, the heat has gone out of the weather, as they say, and so I thought I would take some time to, to walk around the garden and show you a, a general approach or theme to what you de how you deal with the fall, right, with your bonsai. Um, so fundamentally, at this point, what you can see uh, behind me this way is that the deciduous trees are still perfectly green, right? So there's no reason to work on deciduous trees yet, right? Maybe the deciduous work will happen sometime next month, um, surely next month, when the deciduous leaves actually start to turn. But right now, for at least for me anyway, they're still super green. So before we get into fall deciduous work, that gives us an opportunity to get into fall conifer work. And if you look at the, uh, the pine tree right in front of me, as I've described over and over again, so this is a Zisho white pine. White pines will start to t change color. Uh, I, I mean, so will other pines as well, but certainly when you see the older needles start to shift color, that will happen usually in your pines before anything happens with your deciduous. Then that gives you an opportunity to work on those. So let me go through and describe a little bit of a kind of a, a general approach to the given species and what you would be doing right now in the fall. So we can start with a pine tree and with this particular pine tree it's very clear by the color of what's going on here where things are, where older needles are, where younger needles are, right? So if we're basing it just on the color then we all we have to do is use our eyes and we can tell where the color is and then we can just clean that off just quite simply pick all that out and I'm just combing right at this point in time I mean we've discussed white pines before um, they're just a, a great tree for the fundamentals right but at this point in time as opposed to previously like a month or two ago like basically from August when the or July even when the the sheaths drop when if you start to go back through these trees and pick off old needles at that time uh, in July or August you're gonna have to pull a little harder but now when they already when they're naturally starting to abscess by themselves it's really a soft I'm not I'm barely putting any pressure on this at all and I'm pulling these off right I'm just combing my hand through them and the needles that want to come off this year that are gonna fall off naturally in a couple of weeks they're just it's super easy to take them off so um, that's white pines, right? And you can go through and you can do that with your white pines just fundamentally to clean them up and make them look great. And if at that same time you decide that you want to go through and prune off any dead tips or any tips that might be uh, growing too long, again, when you're in there already cleaning up, it's perfectly, it's the best time to do wiring and styling. But if all you want to do is just clean them up because they have already been styled or they're basically good to go, then just brushing through and cleaning off all these dead needles, that's the name of the game with white pines. Okay, so moving on from the white pines, if we're now looking at our blacks and our reds, the black and reds, they're gonna do the same thing. The approach for both black and reds are the same. Um, at this point in time, what you want to be doing, okay, well, let's assume here that you're dealing with trees that are mature, that, are, that you're working on refinement, and that you have decandled at some point this year. So now it's when we come back and we can look at these, uh, these growing tips where we already decandled this year, and we have to start to make some decisions. Because if we come real close in here, we can see on this growing tip, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six buds just on this growing tip. Now this is a little bit on the extreme side, but if we look next to it, 